Do you have elevated uric acid, hyperuricemia as what we call it, gout, and other problems in the kidneys relating to it? Is this problem persisting even after doing low carb nutrition or even on those carnivore nutrition? Then I'm sure you are worried. But fear not because hyperuricemia alone without the presence of inflammation is actually not troublesome. But of course, we want to be on the safer side. There is a way for you to lower down your uric acid just by making sure that you are consuming enough of this electrolyte. And this electrolyte, of course, is potassium. So depending on your problem, sometimes it can present also as palpitations, muscle cramping, also fluctuations in your blood pressure, certain kind of potassium supplement may be necessary. However, as much as over-the-counter potassium can help, but this might be very, very low dose. The usual supplementary dose is just 99 milligrams and we need as much as 3,500 milligrams in a day. So if you will get all of your potassium sources just from that 99 milligrams, you will need at least 36 tablets of that. And I know since you want natural way of consuming and eating as well and natural way of healing, taking 35 or 36 tablets is just not natural. So that is why it is important to make sure that you are consuming enough potassium coming from low carb sources like coming from avocado, green leafy vegetables, and certain nuts and seeds. However, again, not everyone is tolerant on plant-based foods. It can also have other side effects like accumulation of oxalates or accumulation of phytonutrients that can trigger certain autoimmune diseases in certain individuals. That is why for those who have the tendency to really pile up their uric acid or really have hypokalemia syndrome, even before they were into low carb, I suggest that you take your daily potassium from prescription dosage. So at least about 10 mex per tablet or about 750 milligram per tablet, one to three times a day, depending on your need. And of course, since you cannot buy it on your own, it's best consult your trusted physician, especially low carb physician, to help you with this problem. And just to make sure, of course, make sure that you are really complying into our safe list low carb, not consuming hidden sugars, especially not overdoing your fruits because as much as fruits is healthy, but we shouldn't take them in high amounts because too much fruits may mean too much fructose and too much fructose can also have a byproduct of uric acid that is actually the common cause of hyperuricemia syndrome, gout, elevated triglycerides among people who are not into low carb. And know that isolated hyperuricemia alone or elevated uric acid without inflammation, as you might be noticing, even if your uric acid is somewhat elevated, you no longer have those gout attacks or flares, those sudden pains in your joints, simply because hyperuricemia without inflammation will not cause gout or arthritis syndrome. However, again, since there are factors that we might not be able to control, like say, for example, getting an infection, getting into trauma or any stressful experiences that can lead into inflammatory response from your body. So by then, you can have a gouty attack even on low carb because of the presence of elevated uric acid plus, of course, the sudden presence of inflammation. As an example, I have patients that have been into low carb for two or three years and even if their monitoring of their uric acid is elevated, they did not have any problem on gout attacks. However, the moment that they've had this stressful event, like say for example, a COVID infection, or when they got into an accident or a certain viral infection, that's the time the inflammation came in and paired up with a high level of uric acid, then that made them experience another gout attack again, even after being on low carb for so long. So that is why as much as we do not fear hyperuricemia or isolated elevation of uric acid alone, it is also best to keep them in check because there are certain scenarios in our life that we might not be able to control and so we have to avoid those flares or those gouty attacks from occurring. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channels and of course in our Facebook channels. Remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. This is your diet doctor, Dr. Josephine Grace Rohata. Until our next video, bye! For those who wish to know more about our structured learning program, 
we have it available at www.lcfmasterclass.com and of course for further information and if you wish to have a personalized assessment on how you're doing right now on your low carb nutrition just visit our website at www.jgrtanmd.com. This is your life, Dr. Dr. Josephine Grace Rahatan. Always remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Have a good day!